So hello and welcome to your Yoga Nidra practice, one of my all-time favorite practices that I'm very excited to share with you, in part because it's such an easy way to get into meditation. And it was probably the single most helpful thing that helped me develop a habit of meditation, which has been a huge blessing in my life, allowing me to wake up in the mornings already feeling well, some days with thoughts racing and my mind moving, but being more aware of that and also being able to let go of that more easily. So it's something I do every morning and often every night as well. And it can really help you uh, have better sleep is one of the, the biggest benefits that most people enjoy, but it's also great for a number of physiological, especially subconscious processes uh, like promoting healing, having a more, um, more balanced body rhythms. Uh, you're, it's really good for healing and um, managing your yourself really, because at its heart, yoga nidra is a state of awareness somewhere in between sleeping and dreaming. And in this subconscious state, we have an ability to interact with our own thoughts to also kind of let go of some of those lessons we may have learned in life, that internalized programming based on other people's um, input, our own reactions, and whether or not those beliefs or those lessons that we've learned are true, we tend to ingrain them at, at really deep levels. So Yoga Nidra can help you let go of some of that past programming that may not be serving you. Um, so you can move from reactive states for things that are your usual triggers to a more neutral place where you observe and then can choose how you want to respond. So let's get started with that. And you'll wanna have a number of props. So I recommend a bolster for underneath your knees and a couple of blankets because the goal is to use the physiology of sleep, letting the body completely relax so that the mind can slow down and relax. And then we can enter this different state of awareness known as the theta state um, where the brain waves are slower. And so getting as comfortable as, you're, as you can is gonna help that. Start with maybe an extra layer underneath you. This will just help you keep warm, provide some extra cushion and have at least one blanket for on top the reason for that or the reasons primarily are the warmth. The more comfortable you can be, the less likely you are gonna feel like you need to change something and move. But also having that extra weight on the blanket will help your body relax. Now lastly, and this one is for me very personally important, the back of the head gets really heavy in yoga nidra. So it's nice to have either a, a relatively flat cushion, but just a little extra softness, or you could fold your yoga mat on itself, just so that that bone at the back of the head, the external occipital protuberance, that doesn't want to push very hard because it will be uncomfortable as your body gets really heavy and settles in to the meditation. So take your time to adjust your space and get as comfortable as you can. This could also be done lying down in bed, actually, for uh, yoga nidra with the intention of easing yourself into sleep. That's usually a great way, um, but I prefer, and, and often resting on the floor provides that extra firmness that your body can then soften into because it, it feels that support. Once you settle in, take a big breath in and breathe out with a sigh. Just notice how you feel in your comfortable position and take the time to adjust if necessary. You want to feel so stable, so relaxed that you won't need to fidget or change anything during your practice. If you have 
any medical conditions like high blood pressure, glaucoma, or even pregnancy, I would encourage you not to hold your breath when we do any of the breathing exercises here, but simply do all of the other parts. So deep inhales through the nose, adding a gentle pause, if that feels good for you, and then a long, smooth exhale out the nose or out the mouth, especially if that feels like a good extra release. And we're gonna move through a number of techniques here but the most important part is really just feeling good, staying comfortable and relaxed. And that means it's also quite all right and it's fairly common to fall in and out of conscious listening during this practice. So if your mind wanders or you do drift off into sleep, that's okay. For now, just do your best to stay alert and awake. And with every exhalation, notice if there's any physical tension in your body that you can release into the earth. Continue breathing naturally, easily in through the nose and release the breath with every exhale as slowly, as gently as feels good. Feel free to swallow if you need to, or make some sound with your breath, a nice sigh as we settle in to the practice of yoga nidra. So we're gonna do a quick breathing exercise here, a breathing break. On your next inhale, breathe in to a count of four and then pause for a count of four before you slow down the exhale and release the breath to a count of eight. Take your time, get all the air out, and then continue like this, breathing in at your own speed to whatever count of four feels right, and pausing as easily as you can. So try not to cut the breath off or force it, but rather kind of open and release the breath out to the count of eight as smoothly maybe even as quietly as you can. A nice way to soften in the breath. So continue like this for a few more rounds of the four, four, eight breathing rhythm. And again, see if with your exhalations, if you can notice anywhere in your body, Meyer, you might still be holding something something hard, something you don't need, and give yourself permission to just let it go. And the next time that you release the breath out completely, you can also release this practice and just return to your natural breathing. Taking a moment again to notice and feel. Giving yourself permission to let go of any thoughts, any worries, and all tension. Easing yourself with your natural breath to be more and more relaxed. And 
with every exhalation, allowing your body to soften, to trust, to let go of everything on the outside as you draw your awareness steadily more inwards. So in this calm and relaxed space, feeling safe and warm, again, notice how you're feeling. And whatever you're feeling today, I invite you to set an intention that honors that feeling, an intention that is expressed in the positive and in the present tense, as if this were already so. An example of an intention is, I am here, I feel good, I love my life. Or any other intention which speaks to you, keeping it short and sweet, it's often nice. And then you can repeat that intention to yourself three times silently. And then at the end of your next exhale, bring your attention to the top of your head. And as you inhale, I want you to visualize or imagine or sense your breath moving down your body, across the whole chest, past your waist, splitting at the legs and moving all the way to the bottom of the body till you get to the bottom of your feet. As you exhale, guide your breath, or just let the breath guide you back up to the top of your head without any struggle, without trying too hard. So again, as you inhale, observe the breath moving across the body as you continue to scan with your awareness, noticing and feeling until you arrive at the bottom of the feet and the toes. And as you exhale, you just kind of ease into the breath like a wave of energy or awareness moving back up to the crown of your head. And you continue this body scan following your inhales and your exhales about 10 times. There's no need to force and don't worry if you're not feeling much as you do this. Some people feel it like a wave of breath and the awareness follows. Or you might have the experience that sending your attention and awareness to the part of the body directs the energy of the breath with it. And the next time you complete your exhale and return to the crown of the head, begin again with an inhale and send your awareness down the body until you reach the ankles. And at the end of your inhale, exhale, and follow the breath back up from the ankles to the crown of the head, allowing everything below the ankles to sleep and rest. Continue like this with your inhales from the top of the head, moving awareness down to the ankles. 
And with your exhales, following the breath up through the body, back to the crown of the head, observing, feeling, being with your breath. Do this about eight more times. At the end of your next exhalation, returning to the top of the head. On your next inhalation, you will send the breath down to the knees. Just following and feeling and letting everything below the knees rest and sleep as you move with the breath on your exhale back up to the top of the head. And continue like this, again, about 10 times. Watching and just enjoying the rhythm of your own breath and being in your body. And if you should lose track or your mind should wander, that's quite all right. Whenever you notice that your attention has moved somewhere else, just notice what has drawn your attention away. And with your next exhale, return your awareness back up through the body to the top of the head and begin again where you left off. Each inhale, sinking awareness to sensation and observation. Each exhale, easing into deeper states of relaxation. And the next time, you complete your exhale and arrive at the crown of the head. Begin your inhale and follow the breath down to the bottom of your spine at the pelvis, the tailbone. And on your exhale, follow the breath back up the central channel of energy, noticing how you feel in the upper body as you soften any stiffness, any resistance with your awareness. And continue like this, scanning as you inhale, and you'll repeat this five times. Inhaling five times and exhaling back up five times. And the next time you complete your exhalation, begin on an inhale to send your awareness down to the navel center, moving through the body. And as you exhale, returning awareness back up through your center to the top of the head. Repeat this scan about five times.
And when you finish your next exhalation, on your inhale, send your awareness down to the heart's center as you scan the body. And as you exhale, move from the heart center back up through to the crown of the head. And continue like this about 10 times. Noticing the rhythm of the breath has become a little bit more shallow, a little bit shorter, perhaps even a little bit softer and easier so that you are simply a witness to these soft pulsings of inhales to the heart and exhales back to the crown of your head. The breath is a perfect rhythm for right now. And at the end of your next exhale, inhaling from the crown of the head, down to the center of your throat. On your exhale, allowing the breath to wash relaxation from the throat back up to the crown of the head. Repeat this about 10 times. With each round of breath, Awareness becoming more subtle. The body becoming still. And relaxation allowing you to soften and release all tension. Letting the body and the mind rest. Yet awareness stays awake watching the breath. When you reach the end of your next exhalation, inhale from the crown of the head to the area just below the nose at the entrance of both nostrils. And as you exhale from just below the nose, back up to the crown of the head, 10 times. When you finish your next cycle of breath, back at the top of the head, bring your awareness to the center of your head, the center of your brain. And on an inhale, move awareness from the center of the head back to the entrance of the nose at the opening of both nostrils. And then as you exhale, observe the breath moving from just below the nose back up to the center of your brain. And do this last stage of scanning this area of the body and easing your way into the deepest, most enjoyable relaxation you can feel.
And after your next exhalation, awareness returning to the center of the brain. On an inhale, guide your awareness down to the center of the throat. And exhale, watching the breath, moving with awareness back up to the center of your brain. On an inhale, from the center of the brain down to the center of the heart. On the exhale, guiding the breath back up to the center of the brain. Inhale, from the midbrain down to the middle of the belly at the navel. And exhale from the navel back up to the midbrain. Inhale, from the midbrain down to the base of the spine. And exhale from the base of the spine back up to the center of your brain. Inhale midbrain all the way down the body to the knees. And exhale from the knees back up to the midbrain. Inhale from the midbrain down to the ankles. And exhale from the ankles back up to the midbrain. Inhale from the midbrain through the whole body down to the bottom of the feet and the tips of the toes. Exhale, washing awareness back up through the body, gentle, relaxed, and returning your awareness to the center of the brain. This area right between the eyebrows and a few inches back. Resting your awareness here as you just take a moment to observe your whole body. Noticing how you feel. Before turning your attention again inwards, noticing any other aspects of your experience. Perhaps noticing how your breath is at this moment. Noticing how your emotions may or may not be more present. Noticing any changes or anything you weren't able to notice or feel before. And when you feel ready, Gently beginning to wake up the physical body again with any small movements that feel intentional. It just feels nice. Moving slowly, moving mindfully, maybe even wiggling or rolling or stretching the body, if that feels right. Before bending your legs, bending your knees one at a time, and just rolling onto your right side, taking a moment to pause, resting on your side, on the earth, before helping yourself back up into any comfortable seat. And I invite you to stay here in your comfortable seat for as long as you can, as long as feels good, Continuing to nurture and develop that connection inward with yourself to help you show up, to be present, and enjoy your connection with everything outside of yourself a little bit more. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your practice. Namaste.